So, you ever eat food? I did once, about eight months ago. Worst day of my life. Never again, I said, but today, all right. The public wants to know what I eat and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what food goes into making that hump. It's a humpback whale. That's ridiculous. So, I'm still on the high fat thing. I figured like, how am I gonna stop this diet? Why on earth would I stop it? I feel too damn good. A couple blood test numbers that are a little freaky. I mean, yes, my inflammation is high as shit, but it was probably already high. It probably came down, if anything. I feel less inflamed than I used to. So, I don't know if I was already inflamed I might make some adjustments to the omega-6. We'll see. I mean, some numbers are freaky. You think walnuts, what are they a good source of? You said it, not me. Omega-3. No, not true. The highest omega-6 nut you will find on Earth. It's insane. If you eat like nearly 2,000 calories of walnuts which you probably wouldn't do but i just measured it out it's like 115 grams of omega-6 compared to almonds are like 28 so you think they're high in omega-3 but no they're not it's lies almonds are much lower because they're higher in mono and you don't give a shit so i might try to lower it a little bit see if that helps i don't know it might so I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day. And I'm keeping it on the high fat. If anything, I've upped the fat and upped the protein and lowered the carbs even lower. Didn't even know it was possible. So I will show you. It's back there. Here's the plan. We're juicing two entire heads of spinach so big that even shrimps are like, wow, that's really big. I know everything's big to us, but that is really big. Cute little lemon there. So I took out the celery. I figured it added too much liquid and I don't want to pee so much. So just spinach and lemon and it's very potent and not recommended highly. Once I finish the juice, I'll make a super powder smoothie of super gods. Chlorella, chia seeds, protein powder, brown rice, of course. It's not whey protein, you stupid. And this is sunflower lecithin and a little bit of turmeric. It actually tastes pretty good. It's, it's more like a savory smoothie. Delicious. It helps recover my muscular vascular system. And then dinner is going to be so simple. I'm going to soak some sun-dried tomatoes when I'm ready. And I'm going to chop up a romaine heart. So heart-like. Delicious. And I'll add to that some hemp yogurt. Just hemp seeds and water. 900 grams divided by 4 is math. It's a number. So that's it. That's what I'm going to eat. And I'll, I'm going to measure everything today, weigh everything, enter in chronometer, see what calories I'm eating, what are my macros, for those who are curious in that kind of science shit that isn't important at all, involves not listening to the body. It's so stupid. People, you eat a certain way, and then you enter it into chronometer, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm, I'm low in this, I better change what I was doing. Whereas you wouldn't have made that change if you didn't see the number. Listen to your heart. That's all you gotta do. What the hell's going on over there? Okay. 
a little sour in, in desperate need of celery I'll miss it I used to do one head of celery one head of dark leafy green one lemon boom I removed the celery replaced it with an extra head of dark leafy no I might do two heads plus maybe three stalks of celery to give it some saltiness needs to dilute that power that's a powerful drink oh it's so blurry back there but oh so i'll wait a little while i have my green juice there ain't no rush it's not like i'm starving after 21 hours fasting it's just like yeah i could eat and then having that green juice that just supplies your body with so many nutrients you're just like i ain't hungry carbs are what trigger hunger for me i don't know about y'all but you go ahead and eat your potatoes you hungry hippo bitch so this is that smoothie taste it I mean, I can eat anything. I don't know if you would like this. Probably try it without the turmeric because that makes it a little bitter. But with the protein powder, chlorella, the chia seeds, it's just like this fatty protein goodness. I love the taste of protein, that umami. Yo mommy. So I'm gonna drink this and then wait a little bit again. That's why it takes me 21 hours fasting instead of let me flip that around that's why it takes me three hours to eat instead of one hour like dr almond raw like i eat very dense foods i like to i'm a raw food brainwashed hippie so i need my water content we're done here for now was i in focus for any of that it was right here was the focus but i i wasn't paying attention to any of that shit Nailed it. Out the glorious nori sheet with a salad off in the distance. So blurry, you can't even see it. So magical. There's the Caesar looking salad. Plain yet delicate. Beautiful. It's an artwork. Picasso wished he would have made it, but he didn't. Hi. So, yeah, what the fuck? All right, let's take a gander, shall we? Here's my day, 2,000 calories. I barely got that dinner down. That hemp seeds, every time I have a hemp seed yogurt in my salad, I just, I can barely finish it. Partly, one, because it's disgusting, there's that. Hemp seeds, you're dead to me. I will not be buying you again. They were so good in that cracker because you couldn't taste them. But something about hemp seeds, they're the perfect food. They're super high in protein. They got the nice omega-6 to 3 ratio. They're like the ideal food. And I don't like the taste. That sucks a donkey's... All right, moving along. So this was it. 2,000 calories. 2,010 if you want to be a pretzy little pretzel bitch that's a new one 54 percent fat 20 percent protein 27 percent carbs not much carbs today 47 grams of carbs I, I carb up with tomatoes bitch that's what i do so yeah i've noticed i just i actually feel better with zero fruit it's I need a certain amount of protein to feel good if I do high fat low carb low protein I die high fat high protein low carb I'm good high fat little bit of carb some protein not so good so you got to find your balance it takes a lot of tweaking but I'm telling you protein 
is magic in my body. I don't know health wise, I can't say for sure, but energy wise, mood wise, and game wise. That should, is it, is that illegal? Is it? Look it up, Henry, cause I'm, I'm worried that I'm gonna get sued. These guns, I don't have a permit. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Looking at my nutrients, everything I hit except B5. Well, you know what I say to that? Go be fuck yourself. That's what I say to that. Yeah. I mean, who gives a shit? If I've replaced one nut, then I'm super high in B5. Evens out. Like I'd even notice. Your body doesn't give a shit. So everything's super high. It's funny, I get so much magnesium, but I need to supplement like a good extra 900 milligrams just to poo. That's what I gotta do. Whatever you gotta do to poo.com. So anything else to really say on this? I mean, omega six to three, two to one, pretty good. It's not too high. So final thoughts on the day. I went out today, I went downtown, I bought some speakers because I can't hear my audio very good at all. People sometimes complain about the audio and it's like, what? I can't even hear it with these stupid dollar store speakers I'm using. So I'm getting an actual pair of studio monitors that are designed to be flat and accurate. They're for music production, so it will help me with my music as well. But I just, I couldn't hear the fine details of speech and the noise levels and all this stuff. So I was downtown all day today, just streaming energy, walking around, running around. I mean, I don't eat all day and that is here to stay. I just, I love it so much. I'm not limited at all. I do more than I ever could fasting 21 hours a day. That's the magic. And for now, I'm sticking with the high fat just because it's what I know for the winter. I can't see other options right now. There's nothing, there's starch, and I don't really want to turn into a cooked bitch. I don't want to go that route. I got my heroes, John Rose, keeping me straight. I'm like, I ain't gonna let you down, John. I ain't gonna let you down. So I just, I have that belief in the raw foods, but I'll be honest with you. I'm not attached to it. I don't have to be a raw foodist. What I want with my diet is to age slowly. I just, I want to look young forever. And that's part of it. And I just, I see raw foodists looking young. Not so much the fruit based ones. Y'all fruities, y'all age quickly. That's just a fact. But I do want the anti-aging effect and diet plays a huge role. And I believe the intermittent fasting is what's going to help the most. I would eat cooked food right now. I'm craving it. I've had some weird cravings this week. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I, for the past three days, I'm ashamed to even admit it. So don't slap me in the vegan face. But I've been craving eggs. Not enough to actually even consider doing it or even consider walking down the egg aisle. But I'm, I'm eating these salads at night and I'm just like, this sucks. The last couple ones, the almonds, I'm just like these nut yogurts and the salads, the same fucking thing every night. It ain't giving me that. Mm. You know, when you eat something so good and you're just like, mm. Mm. <laughs> it's just like that satisfaction. You're just like, oh man been a while since I've had that and I don't know why but I've been eating these salads the last couple of nights and just thinking man scrambled eggs why is that popping in my mind scrambled with coconut oil wow so I know some vegans are mad at me just for thinking of it I know how cruel the egg industry is you think I don't know that and I will say this vegans are slapping me in the virtual dick right now i feel it it hurts i'm not against people having backyard chickens 
if you have a pet, chickens laying an egg here and there, and they're like, oh, whatever. The fucking thing's gonna die. There's no rooster around here to have sex with it. I don't, I don't know how the egg thing works. I, I don't get that whole process. I don't. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not against that. Because it's like, you're, it, like, they would go to waste. They would just rot. And if you want to eat that chicken vagina thing, you go for it. You, you might raise your cholesterol. You probably will. And you're yanking a poo again. That, but I never poo anyway. So I poo, but I have to take that magnesium or I'm fucked. So, yeah, I don't know why the eggs creeped into my mind and I hope to banish it. I hope to banish it. I hope I don't go there or continue that thought process like, mm, maybe those would be good then turn into eating a dozen eggs a day instead of the nuts. But I have to make some tweaks to these nuts because I ain't fucking happy with these nut yogurts all the time in my same meal, I gotta switch things up. So I promise you, I'll probably go towards like beans or something or potatoes or fruit instead of the eggs. But the thought is in there and I'm just being honest with you. I tell you, I'm gonna tell you what's on my mind. So you can't be mad at me for, I haven't even done it. So go fuck yourself. So that was my day. Honesty is, the key here my friend if you're not honest with yourself who can you be honest with i don't know. okay so we're done here thanks for watching thumbs up if you like the video subscribe for more videos and i'll see you in the next one what should your comments be today how's my diet looking is that too much protein there's so much controversy around protein I don't get it how much do I need to build muscle I'm building now but I eat like a hundred grams that's probably more than I need but if I lower it too much more than that it feels like I feel weaker so protein is real it's an actual substance and it's needed look at vegan gains that guy is proteining it the hell up guys eating more protein than I can even imagine he's Protein powder in the oatmeal, lentils. That guy is a protein bomb. Okay, we're done here. Eat some bread. Get sick. Get drunk to forget about your sickness. And then try not to kill yourself. <laughs>